turning to a News 12 exclusive, a successful rescue mission for one of our four-legged friends earlier today. Tonight, that cat is safe and sound after being stranded off the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. And News 12's Phil Tate is underneath the BQE in Sunset Park. Phil, how did this big rescue go down? Yeah, well, Eddie and John are two animal rescues from Long Island. Well, they got a call early this morning that a cat was actually sitting alongside the BQE from the day before. Well, the pair knew that they wanted to help. They called the NYPD just for some assistance so that they could get this cat to safety. Cool uh, how the, cop, the cops were very nice, the two cops that arrived. They, uh, we pretty much followed them a uh, 10 minute drive all the way around and we went up on the expressway and uh, we, me and Eddie were in front of the cop and the cop held back traffic. Uh, Eddie went um, one side of the, where the kitten was and I went on the other side. Uh, so the kitten didn't run, try and run away and I hand grabbed the kitten. He was a little feisty one, but he bit me a few times, but he's otherwise good shape. And just take a look at the video captured moments after the cat was rescued. John tells me that this was truly a risky situation as things could have gone south if there was one bad move. Well, during the rescue, there was nowhere for the cat to run to as the cat could have fallen several feet or if the cat got away on the highway, it may have led to a bigger problem. Well, the rescuers say that the NYPD stopped traffic during the rescue and say police were helpful escorting them to the exact point the cat was, which was by 3rd Avenue between 48th and 49th Street. Well, tonight the cat is at the Brooklyn Cat Cafe, an adoption center and social space run by the Brooklyn Bridge Animal Welfare Coalition. And for Eddie, the other rescuer, he's just happy things turned out in a positive way. I'm happy that I went to a place. Yeah, I'm happy. It was already set up. Um, one of the women that was there already set something up where the cat will go to a foster and a socializer. So, you know, it's just, you know, or if not, then John would have taken it. I also have someone that texted me this afternoon, um, said that, you know, do you need a foster? I said, you know, not right now. We already have one lined up. People are lining up to help that cutie. And Phil, we're just so happy that the cat is safe and sound tonight. Do John and Eddie do this often? Yeah, well, Amanda, John actually does this for a living. He tells me just last week they had the Montauk Parkway shut down as they rescued a possum that was caught in a divider there. So definitely not their first rodeo here. Yeah, all right, Phil, thank you. Well, Amanda, you would have taken the cat if they didn't.